Recovery from last year's hurricanes is becoming more urgent along the coast as we face a new hurricane season in just a few weeks. I can't believe it's already here. West 2's Claire Metz joins us live now from Daytona Beach. And Claire, people there can take advantage of at least a temporary solution. Yeah, Nancy, it's a deadline all of us are dreading come June 1st. But yeah, the county will install trap bags filled with sand to any private property owner who get, grants them an easement to do that work. Now, trap bags are protective in terms of they can protect against high tide cycles, for example, and even nor'easters. They're not a permanent solution by any means, but they're certainly a temporary stopgap. Our goal is to provide as much sand as possible across our expansive coastline. The coast was laid bare by the hurricane. Sand washed away. The beach lost so much elevation. And now the race is on to replace at least some of it, protect oceanfront properties before another storm blows through. The county is using $5 million from DEP to place sand in trap bags and layer those bags in front of properties where owners grant the county an easement. As part of that easement, we are also doing debris removal, so we're removing derelict seawalls. We're helping to remove some of the, the floatables. The county's prioritizing owners who haven't been able to do much on their own already, whether for lack of source material or state approvals. The sand in the bags is beach compatible, coming from a spoil island in the intracoastal near Edgewater. So far, the county's received more than 300 easements, and they'll work through the summer to place the bags until the money or the sand runs out. We've installed over 6,000 linear feet of trap bags so far, and we've removed approximately 5,000 cubic yards of debris, I believe, to date. Property owners can keep the sand from the bags, use it for fill down the road as they work on longer-term solutions, something the county's looking at, too. Using an additional $37 million received from the state earlier, the county has two planned sand projects to build up the dunes, one north of Ponce and let the other south, beginning in the fall of this year and running into 2024. And in addition to those projects with that $37 million, the county is obligated by the by getting that grant to do a feasibility study. Look for long-term solutions. For example, what may be right here in the city of Daytona Beach may not work as well down in Ponce Inlet. So that study will get underway as well. They're looking for some good answers there so they can really address this on a larger scale. We're live in Volusia County. Claire Metz, West 2 News.